Stephanie, what are you doing? I'm manually making a copy of my data in case my database goes down. You don't need to do that by hand. Here, let me show you how to set up high availability. All right, thank goodness. Let's take a quick look at what happens with a highly available configuration using MySQL. The primary instance and failover replicas are in two separate zones. As updates are made to the primary instance, they're replicated to the failover. If the primary instance goes down, Cloud SQL will make sure the failover is up to date and then promote it to the primary instance. This is what it looks like when the failover happens. Instead of manually making any application changes, Cloud SQL moves the primary IP address over so the same database connection information will work. It looks a little different for Postgres, but you still get seamless failover. So not only does Cloud SQL manage my database, it can actually handle my primary database going down too. That's right. Now that we've seen how it happens on the back end, let's take a look at how to set it up. By going to the Cloud SQL Instances page, we can see our currently running databases. Looking at Needs Failover, you can click the Add button under High Availability to set up an automatically managed replica. We'll go ahead and call it Needs Failover Failover and hit the Create button. This will create the failover for you. Now, if we're going to create a new database, the first thing we can do is choose between MySQL or Postgres. So we'll click on Create Instance. We'll choose MySQL. We'll choose Second Generation. And we're going to go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it MyNewDB. Don't forget to secure it with a secure root password. Then we'll go to the High Availability section, and we'll make sure Binary Logging, this is for MySQL, is checked off, and click Create Failover Replica. We'll go ahead and then click the Create button, and we're good to go. Now, once these failovers are created, the other thing we're able to do is test out a failover. So if we actually go to one that already has it set up, click in on that, and then go to the top right where it says Failover. This will let you actually execute a failover. Now you can see how easy it is to make your Cloud SQL instances highly available. So if the primary instance is down due to being patched or for any other reason, we have a replica set up and ready to go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great Google Cloud Platform content.